Goldman Sachs, along with a number of other analysts and investment banks, they say that in 2026, EVs will hit price parity with internal combustion. Now, Nissan says that they can do it in 2030 with their solid state batteries, which they will reveal in only a few years time. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Nissan is saying that they already have a solid state battery production line. Uh, we don't know many details about it. Is it legit? Is it real? Well, Nissan is saying they're going to slash manufacturing costs with gigacasting. So they're going to use Tesla's gigacasting techniques. I do remember guys when in, uh, I'm not going to say it, the website, but a number of EV websites basically said Tesla's idea for gigacasting was a bad idea. And if it was a good idea, the rest of the automotive industry who had hundreds of years of combined experience would have done it many years ago. But now we're discovering many automakers are using gigacasting techniques. Anyhow, Nissan's battery plant will eventually produce 100 megawatt hours of solid state batteries per month. So 1,200 megawatt hours per year. That would be enough when you consider with a solid state battery, you probably only need say a 30 kilowatt hour battery. So you only need a really small battery pack because they have a very high energy density, says Nissan, double the energy density of today's batteries. That would be enough for Nissan to power every single vehicle it currently sells worldwide. In fact, more than enough. It'd be enough for Nissan to make about 5 million vehicles with solid state batteries. Now, guys, I'm really keen to know, what are your thoughts? Do you really think Nissan will produce 1,200 gigawatt hours of solid state batteries per year? I mean, no one has been this aggressive. No one worldwide. There's not a single company claiming even a fraction of that. No one's even claiming they can get to 10% of that number. But Nissan is saying, we can do it. These new batteries say Nissan will be used in many vehicles, including pickup trucks. Nissan plans to launch EVs with solid state batteries in 2028. It's telling investors, you know, basically believe in us, we will do this. They aim to slash the development and production costs of future models by adopting Tesla's gear casting techniques as well. The company has constructed a pilot production line. Now, Toyota said they had a pilot production line in 2014, but we still haven't seen actual production from that production line after 10 years. Nissan, though, say that they have a solid state production line for solid state batteries at its Yokohama plant in Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan, which will develop these new batteries. Nissan plans to construct its first solid state batteries at the facility in March of 2025. Um, I am a bit confused. I mean, if Nissan say they have a production line, why would it take um, 11 months for that production line to produce batteries? Maybe it's, I don't know, something I'm missing, clearly. Now, Nissan say that this site will end up producing 100 megawatt hours per month and employ 100 workers per shift. So basically, Nissan is saying this, this factory to produce um, an insane amount of batteries. And we're talking a massive, massive numbers. Most, remember, most battery factories, even really big battery factories, you know, some of the biggest in the world, will only produce 100 gigawatt hours per year. Nissan say they're going to do more than this, 120 every single month does seem optimistic. Solid state batteries um, are considered by the Japanese automotive industry in particular, as in Toyota and Nissan and Honda, to be really the solution. They say that lithium ion batteries today, they're not that good. And honestly, EVs are really not that viable of an option unless they are powered by solid state batteries. Nissan says they have the potential for energy density twice that of traditional lithium ion batteries. So today's lithium ion batteries say lithium ion phosphate, they're about 190 watts per kilogram. Nissan is saying they're gonna to get to about 400 watts per kilogram. You can see why the battery pack could be much smaller if that were true. They said that this will provide significantly shorter charging times or at a lower cost. Now, it's worth pointing out the CATL's new Shenseng lithium ion phosphate battery, which they are about to match manufacture by the end of next year, it will be their most heavily produced battery worldwide. That does charge um, to about 80% when in about 10 minutes in the real world, it can do that. So does that mean Nissan's new solid state batteries will charge in five minutes? Well, probably not, but who knows? 
The automaker intends on using solid state batteries across many of its models, and that includes in its pickup trucks. Nissan is conducting wide ranging research and development from molecular level battery material research to electric vehicle development, and even city development using EVs as storage batteries, the company said. It's not just solid state batteries that Nissan are working on though. Before it starts mass producing these new batteries, Nissan will use large scale casting machines to produce the rear sections for its EVs. It believes this process will lower manufacturing costs by 10% and slash the weight of components by 20%. It's one of the big differences really between say the Nissan Aria and the Tesla Model Y. The Aria is a significantly smaller vehicle than the Tesla Model Y, but the Tesla Model Y is much lighter. And so that's our Nissan plan to kind of bridge that gap with Tesla. The rear structure of these vehicles will be made from lightweight cast aluminium. Likely, uh, likely Nissan will actually purchase Tesla's gear casting machines from its supplier, Indra, which is based in Italy. Nissan's Executive Vice President for Manufacturing and Supply Chain Management, Hideyuki Sakamoto, said that this will be happening very, very soon. Now, Nissan believes that its use of solid state batteries and giga casting will allow it to reduce the cost of its next gen EVs by 30%, making them comparable in price to combustion powered models. It's worth pointing out that in China, BYD and many other automakers have already been able to reduce the cost of EVs to the point where EVs are no more expensive to manufacture than internal combustion vehicles. But basically, Nissan is saying they, they can't get there until they have solid state batteries and Tesla giga casting machines. And guys, what are your thoughts on this? Well, what are your thoughts on um, when Nissan will be in say 2030? I personally think if Nissan follows this route and they believe it's necessary, they invest their limited funds into solid state battery production and they, they're basically gambling the house on solid state batteries. I believe this will fail. Nissan debt is rated at junk. Currently, they're the only major automaker in the world whose debt is rated at junk. And I think honestly, Nissan won't be able to be bailed out by the Chinese government. The company is too big. The Chinese government will have to bail out uh, Toyota. Toyota has $190 billion in debt and only well less than 1% of Toyota's current production worldwide is electric. This is gonna happen very, very quickly over a very short space of time. And I think that the Japanese government, who are the most indebted government in the history of mankind, that's actually a historical fact, you can look that up. I don't see how they will have the capacity to continue printing money and just bail out their entire automotive industry, which is the reason why I think Nissan will eventually be purchased by a Chinese conglomerate, possibly by Geely, maybe even by BYD. Who knows? Thanks for watching.